So welcome to another uh, POS Cloud uh, Follow 2 training video. Today we're going to talk about assigning location and mark ready, or mark orders ready. So the cleaning process we know is dry cleaners. Um, you're going to have a customer come in, you're going to write a ticket, and then you're going to tag the clothes, and you're going to put the ticket on a spindle and wait for the clothes to get cleaned. After the clothes are cleaned, you're basically going to take the ticket and attach it um, to the bag. And you're going to do one of two things. If you're racking by alphabet, so by name, um, or if you're doing deliveries, then you're going to mark order ready. And mark order ready is the simplest process. Um, all you're going to do is go to uh, counter duties and mark order ready, or go to the dashboard and click mark order ready. And the only thing you have to do here is enter a ticket number, 200210. So you're gonna scan the ticket with the barcode scanner, and that's all you have to do. So you're just gonna go to each of the bags, and before you put them away, you're just gonna scan them and then assign them to a location. Scan, and then you're gonna put it up on a rack, okay? Now, if you rack by number, you're gonna use the sign location because you need to scan the ticket so that you can get the ticket number and then it's gonna have you scan the location, a barcode on the location itself. Now, Mark Order Ready has a few more features though. If the customer has an email address on file, so if test customer here has an email address on file, then it will not only mark the ticket ready, but it's going to send an email to the customer saying your ticket's ready to pick up. Okay, and the nice thing about that is, like I've said, if it's nine o'clock in the morning and you cleaned it, you marked it ready, they got a text and normally they can't pick up till after four, but they're out getting groceries. They're like, oh, I can go pick it up or an email. So there's a couple other things is um, we do have the option. Uh, you'll notice that when you mark order ready, it does say rack. You could type something in here. So you can mark it ready and say, hey, it's on the back shelf. It's a household item. It's underneath the counter or something like that. So you can um, basically before you click the mark ticket ready, um, scan the ticket number or type the ticket number in here, change the location before you um, scan the ticket or mark it ready. That's how it needs to be done. Now there also is enter the cost first for wash costs and dry costs. Um, that's really only used if you're running a laundromat and you have somebody who's uh, basically washing this because that will uh, mark it ready but it'll also assign a cost for the washing and the drying. Um, so like $1.50 or two fifty. So you know that that particular ticket costs so much money. And we have laundry reports that will take and analyze and summarize um, your tickets and get average costs by, um, by user. Um, so this is adding the cost and it's also the person who's logged in is gonna be the user and it's gonna to assign to them. So in case you pay commission. Now you also have an option where you can click this button, assign to plant, and then you can scan and mark it ready. But when you mark it ready, it's gonna automatically mark it that it's been assigned to the plant and the plant's gonna do some cleaning, okay? So when you assign to plant, it's not going to set the status as um, R it's going to keep it in process, but it's going to assign the location to the planet to the plant. Or if you want to assign a bunch of things to alteration, you have a whole bunch of tickets and you want to assign them to the alteration lady because in the workflow process, it's still in process, but it's going to be marked um, the location alteration, but it's in process or plant. They're going to be cleaning. If you're a dry store, you assign it to a plant. So you've got a lot of versatility here, but just remember if you assign alteration or plant, it's not gonna mark it ready, it's just gonna keep it in process, but it's gonna change the location, okay?
Um, so in addition to that, let's go to assign location. So assign location is also very similar. I'm going to type a ticket number, um, 209. And when I, when I scan the ticket, it's now going to require me to scan a location. So now I'm going to scan the location and it's going to automatically um, assign that ticket um, to that location. So you'll see here that it shows what previously was done. So ticket 209 is assigned to location 33 and it's R for ready. Um, and again, it says here it sent an email um, because that particular ticket has an email address in it and it just sent an email, uh, in fact, to my personal email um, showing that um, that ticket's ready to pick up. Um, you also have the same feature here that um, if you assign to plant, um, it's going to automatically um, assign that ticket um, to the plant as a location. So you can scan a ticket and um, scan the location and then click assign plant and it'll send that ticket to the plant. Okay, and alteration as well. And basically that's it for mark ticket ready. Now when you do a pickup, you're going to notice that these particular tickets um, are ready to pick up and are assigned to certain locations. Um, so if you do a pickup and you see that this one's assigned to plant, um, then you can tell the user, hey, it hasn't come back from the plant yet. Okay, so that's it for assigned location. That's a quick video and we'll talk to you later.